ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? We're going to be playing Final Fight tonight. Well, I will be. I'm your host, John Kratz, and this is one of my top two games of all time. So welcome. We'll have a moment of silence for the intro. It'll show off the three main characters, and we'll jump into the action. So to start off, smash that like button. Hope you're having a wonderful day, night, no matter where you are. Hope you're happy, well, living life to the fullest your ability. So, as I was saying, this is one of my top two games of all time. I grew up on this and Golden Axe, too. So right now, it's going to show your three main characters. Guy, the fast, punching, kicking guy. Next will be Cody, the guy I always go with. His girlfriend's been kidnapped. And the third is Hagger, the mayor of the town, who never wears a shirt, and his daughter is kidnapped. All right, this is my guy, Cody. And Hagger. Boom. A former champion street fighter. Cool. So let's do this. So what's everybody been up to? If you're here right now, we'll be in the chat premiering this. Yo, what's up? So I've been doing some polls on Twitter, and some people requested for chat. So I was like, alright, let's get the retro. Let's start off with my fave. Then we'll bring Golden Axe too. Man, I have a lot of new games that I think a lot of people haven't seen yet. I don't mean just on my channel. I mean like even the JDJ show and such. So I saw something really interesting on Twitter the other day. It was a handheld Tiger Electronic. It was just like a Crash Bandicoot one. And it literally like straps to your arm. And then there's this attachment, like a weird fishing reel that goes to your hand. And I've never seen anything like it before. If you're curious, I'll show you on Twitter. But it's really weird. But yeah, this game's awesome. Definitely my favorite beat em up. Well, tied with Golden Axe too. So, you can use your jump kick to get every direction of bad guys, but if you do that, you sacrifice a little bit of health, so it's like, eh, try not to do that. I can always tell when I'm not doing good, and I'm not in my prime of this game, if I don't get through the first level with all my lives. Woo! Let's go. But yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, grab a snack, kick back, relax, let's go. Look at that guy. He always reminded me of like a blonde haired Randy Savage. So I'm Cody. He kidnapped my girlfriend, aka the mayor's daughter. And they're holding her hostage. But the, the mayor's like, no, I'm not gonna give in to your demands. We're gonna send a three-man team to fight you. So here I am. Gotta save my girlfriend. It's a rough place. He recently became mayor, you know. It's not like all this happened while he was in charge. He's dealing with the previous administration's mistakes. Wow. I'm giving more back lore into this game than they ever did. Oh, I lost life. 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Round one. Clear. You are winner. Oh, so stop. And the music's so catchy, though. Say hello to my friend Knifey. Steps up. Oop. Oh, Knifey. Nothing like a little whiskey on the job. Am I getting paid for this? Actually, is this a job? I guess I get paid for the life of my girlfriend. Oh! oh God. I don't know how I'm still alive. I just took a direct knife to the chest. One tough son of a bee. Cool thing about this game, though, you can play it with your homies online. So, like, I used to stream this in the beginning of my channel, but... Someone that used to hang out with us all the time, but hey, Xenomorpheus, I know you're watching. We should play it again. Or anybody that has it. It's not on sale right now, so I think it's like $9.99 on the eShop, but it comes with this and five other games, so... Better find some health. Oh, so close to some barrels with health, but I didn't make it. Look at this guy, just chest bumping into me. Imagine being so strong that you can just like intimidatingly just run and chest bump into people. Ugh. They strap dynamite to me and everything. It's a pretty cool uh, cutscene, though. So you're at the arcade and you're like, "Oh my god, I need to enter another quarter." My character's got dynamite strapped to him, so it adds to like the tension of like needing to continue and not moving to another arcade. And at a young age, when you're susceptible to stuff like that, like six, seven years old, you know, it, it works. It's take my money. If you miss what I'm talking about, you'll see when I lose my health again. Come on. Oh. There's an orange and some whiskey right there. Great combination. Nothing like a fresh orange and some whiskey. Oh. I like his uh, get-up animation. I was just like laughing in my head. All right, let's go. Well, this game came out though; it was pretty cool. Like, just look at the top that had the little handles of the subway are swinging back and forth. In the background, you see the constant, you know, movement, the details in the walls and the doors. It was, it was really nice at the time. If I had to pick a third favorite beat 'em up, it would definitely be TMNT. TMNT. Did I just say Team and Tay? Team and Tay! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Wait a minute. Elgato, Hollywood, Andor, Gorber? Look at that! See him! Oh god! No! The dynamite! It's getting closer! Oh, 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 okay. We're gonna save him. Oh, deflecting nice with knives. That's some bullseye stuff. Um, Marvel reference right there. Ooh. Oh man! Ooh, come on! <gasps> yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> uh, good? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. Depending on what time you're watching this. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been forever since I played a retro game, though. So I was like, might as well start off with Final Fight. Love this game. So much meat. At least I'm not on fire. Those fire throw guys are a pain. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna die. Just eat meat. Hey, speaking of which, did anybody see that Logan Paul video? Taking a... Uh, he'll do anything to get views to a whole new level. Oh, You can't see it, but Jack just jumped on my lap. What a terrible time not to have a face game. Well, the goal is, though, between you guys and me, I'd like to get some quick video clips that are like hour, hour and a half tops, just to add more variety. Something that like isn't the normal Splatoon multiplayer stuff. This guy's always been tough. Him and the cop are always the hardest boss for me. We got this. Oh, totally didn't time that right. It's all about the right timing with this guy. I was expecting him to charge quicker. Should we, should we save him? No? No? You don't want to be saved? He's like, don't do it! Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> he was shaking his half left and right. He wasn't going up and down. I'm pretty sure that means no. Ooh. Give me your helmet. If they've remade this game, I'd like to be able to take his helmet and go throughout the rest of the stages with it. Oh, dang. That's a nice little prop. Oh god! This sounds too. He's just like slicing me with his sword. Look at these people in the background. They look pretty similar, actually. I'm doing that. Time to focus. Yes! Woo! You did it. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see this kitty. Go, go! Oh, wow. Usually I can get it in 12 seconds. Yeah, I know there's the pipe, but meh. Oh, my god. <laughs> One way. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Cody, the sign says go this way. <sighs> Follow the finger. Cody, use your eyes. Use your eyes, Luke. Hey, what did everybody think of, uh... The Last Jedi. Or is it the Rise of Skullwalker? Whatever the new Star Wars movie was. I haven't seen it yet, but did you like it? A lot of people told me they were going to see it, so without any spoilers, how was it? I'm a fan of uh, bad horror movies, so it takes a lot to get me to not like something. Hey, there's a question. So if you haven't seen the new Star Wars movie, what's your favorite genre of movies? Yeah. 
Interesting. Oh, what good choices, Chad. Me? I'd have to say bad horror. It's definitely my favorite uh, genre of movies. Like, if you find bad horror movies, <laughs> there's just something hilarious about it. For noobs, Cabin Fever. But, like, Terror Tunes, Dead and Breakfast. Oh, Dead and Breakfast is a good one. Right, focus. I guess I should get this. I'm about to get bum rushed. This is some good aerobics. We could teach the arrow a thing or two. There's a reason why they call me El Gato. I jump like a cat. It's scary though, because like the thought of being stabbed just gets like ugh, shivers. So when they do that, it's like, oh god, no, 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 oh, oh, oh dear. Everybody knows you can block a knife with a kneecap. Try it. That's awesome. Oh, dang. <laughs> Wasn't watching my six. <gasps> oh, that was close. I only had one second left. I shouldn't mess around like that. I have to restart this to record. It's a great two-player game, though. Hey, uh, bartender. Before I go on, can you get me a whiskey? Why are you shaking your head left and right? Just give me whiskey. You know what? I think you guys. Pissed off. Yeah! Broke your door. Can't give me a whiskey. I'm leaving this place. Look at the Oh what the where where am I? Ah! Oh. Grandpa Andor! Father Andor! You can see the names when I hit them. Oh, that's totally not going to give me a concussion. Totally going to be fun. I hope Jessica's worth it, you know? We kidnapped her, you're going through all this trouble. Hey, can one of you people watch this fight called the police, please? Oh, uh, because... I shouldn't be here. Uh, I'm just trying to find my girlfriend. I don't want to be here. Hello? Help? I see uh, the city in the background. Can somebody call the cops? Please? Please? They're gonna kill me! Ah! <laughs> Are you happy? You see what you've done? So you want to see one of the other characters? I like Cody, but... Here's Andor. Hagger. Ooh! Just lay the smack down on them. Uh, sudden. Go back there and get a whiskey. Show that guy who's boss. Or at least break his door. Oh. Dang, look at his sheer strength. He's slow, but he's strong. Totally a good move to use in real life. If you're surrounded in an alley, just spin your arms around like that. Just do it. Trust me. It'll save. If Bruce Wayne knew how to do that, his parents wouldn't be dead. I'm just saying. Or if his mom or dad knew how to do that in that alley. See? It works every time. Try it. Again, bullied at school. Spin your arms around real fast like that. Ew. <laughs> I just noticed, and I never noticed before, he literally spits that gum out. 
I pick it up and it, and it heals me. Like, yes! Thank you for your used gum. It's a little dirty, but the health is one. Good thing I'm resistant to bullets. <laughs> Yo, look at these people just watching. They're like, yeah, get him, cop. So, whoever called the cops, you're a totally jerk. Because uh, now they're coming after me. Look, you got the wrong guy. I asked them to call you. <sighs> Alright, maybe it's because they don't look like the guy that I asked them to call the cops with. Hey, look, it's me. Back from the dead. Jerk hole. Chucklehead. Woo! Stage three, clear! Uh, you guys, don't walk onto the fire. It's really easy. Like, you're gonna get burned. Play with fire! You're gonna get burned! Oh, spicy! How do you like your ramen? Cooked. Black. Okay, so the one time I think I was like a, a sophomore in high school, and I was just really stressed. It was like the end of the year, finals and everything. Somehow, I managed to put ramen in the microwave without water. Yeah. Needless to say, didn't didn't turn out too well. Kind of reminded me of uh, my character when I got burned. Anyone over twenty one, take a shot every time. I lose a life. Anyone under twenty one, you have to do a push up every time I lose a life. Oh! Alright, shots for the adults, push-ups for the kids. Here's the other character, guy. He's super fast. Super fast! Alright. Now, it, you might think, like, hey, you can't hit a girl. It's actually really messed up. Poison is a dude, and it, it's in the lore, so, uh... It's just guy hitting another dude. Granted, you know, the hair's long, I might be deceiving, but it's cute. So, yeah. In the Game Boy Advance port, actually, they changed them to, like, punk dudes. Poison and the other one. The other one's a chip. But, I'm not, I'm not messing around either, like, no jokes. No, uh, curse jokes or anything, like, I'm just being for real. There's no sense in making a joke about this. As a kid, I was always confused, but I was like, alright. Why not? They put it in the booklet for a reason. So back to my character. I just thought you guys might want to see. How about that pink leopard shirt that guy was wearing? They're all wearing leopard stuff. It's like, you know, leopard, it really isn't in. Especially in this industrial steel fortress. It's t totally 280s. And the red leopard... Not cutting it. It's just weird. Not even Fred Flintstone would wear that. This music's rocking, though. Whoa! Fred Flintstone one of these chucklehead. Hey, who's throwing grenades? Come on! There's people there! Ow. Punch me in the eye to serve and protect. What a lie. Are they cops? They got handcuffs. That must mean they're cops. Official. It's just never been in war. Ow. 
Well, you guys really look similar. Like, uh, the resemblance is striking. Honestly. All three of you. Are you guys related? Rolento. Like, the mint? My breath stinks. Can you get me a Rolento? Oh, I got that right? I thought they're called Rolento. Oh! <laughs> Just throw me like a pillow. The whole time I'm streaming, since I said my cat jumped on me like two, three levels ago, I haven't been able to like move too much. Because it's just sitting on me all comfy, so I'm like stiff like a rock. My neck is like, Ugh! I'm gonna have to push him off pretty soon. Not like push him off, like nudge him off. Context is cool. Key. Hey, which Street Fighter is this guy in? I know he's in one of the Street Fighters. I think one of the ones for the Dreamcast, right? Not Cody. I mean, yeah, I know him. He's uh, in, like, the last one for the Dreamcast. But which Street Fighter is Rolento in, if anybody knows? All right, time to be like JS, though. It'd be great if JS was in the chat right now. He likes breaking windows. This is for you, Jay. Gotta hit them head on. Nice. Got some good bonus points. Not bad, not bad. JS though would have done better though. Woo! Let's move on to the Bay Area. Woo! What's that say? Leesky? Leesky? On the bench? I don't know. Okay, this this soundtrack is awesome, so I'm gonna turn the music up for this. But again, if you just jumped into this premiere, or if you're watching after, I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and thank you for being here. You're watching with us, and that's pretty cool, so much love. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, have a happy Kwanzaa. Much love. It's really cool that you're hanging out here. If you like this game, if you like retro, want me to play more stuff like this, comment in the description. I'm always down for, uh, you know, little push for what you guys want. We've amassed a lot of subscribers in the past seven months. It's like, well, let's see what you guys want from it. Hey, the pup! Alright, but the true question of this game is, can you pet the dog? If they made an update, I know you'd be able to. Why can I not pet the toad? You can tell this game was made years ago because if it was made like modern time, you get you'd be able to pet the dog. If you have no idea what you're talking about, okay, boomer. Um, in, on Twitter, it's a big thing. They even have like a Twitter account with a huge following called like "Can you pet the dog?" So any game where you can pet a dog, they like tweet out. Awareness of the game. It's, it's fun. Stay on the side screen. Oh, oh, dang, Wong Hu. Oh, Wong Yu. Focusing. Okay, cool. Oh, dang. Wong Yu! Wong Hu? Wong Yu. Pepsi? Grapes? Money! Oh, a dollar. Just a dollar. Some curry. I'm allergic to curry. No! Diamonds, some beer. <sighs> oh, dude, you're gonna need to go to the bathroom. All right, next step. 
Defeat some bad guys, find a bathroom, because that was not a good mix. Okay, let's have the barbecue. I think I have food poisoning for sure. Done. Watch. Triforce? Or are those gold bricks? Oh, it's gold bars, okay. Totally thought that was the Triforce for a second. You're not gonna hit me with those barrels, fools! I'm no scrub! I played this game many a times. This game and Golden Axe 2 are my oldest gaming memories, actually. Wait till you guys see the boss for the stage. Just stabbing wildly. Like, I won't live! Stab or V stab situation right here. Oh! Dude, I timed each one of those right. Oh, thank goodness the bathroom, dude. All the curry, barbecue, grapes, and beer I've had. Alright, let me open this one. This is sexy. Or this one. This is sexy. Guys, I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Keep, keep. I'm trying to use the bathroom. Please. Oh, my God. Okay. Please. Ew. If you actually look at the stalls, though, real closely, if I, I was editing this, I'd zoom in. Look at the bottom of the toilet. Look at all that. Brown fluid all over the floors. That's disgusting. That is, that is so disgusting. Like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a janitor. I wouldn't work here. I would move out of this city instantly. Who just, who just writes sexy over everything? Sexy. 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 So totally not sexy. You got sh literally running poop all over the floor. It's, it's just disgusting. It is not sexy. There's never been anything sexy about that. I guess I'll have to hold it in. Ooh, a time. A ten piece. Oh, so what do you learn how to block, eh? I wish I could use that hammer as a weapon. I'm gonna pick it up and it's gonna give me money. It's hard out here for a pin When they're trying to get the money for the rim Without a Cadillac gas money spin You got a whole lot of bitches is dropping shit Alright, that's definitely gotta be a mall now I could enjoy the sunset on my own, now that all these bad guys are gone. Can I see you ready? Oh god! Can you just imagine that happening in real life? Slow-mo, you're looking up at some guys, upside down above you, like, right in your shoulders. Honestly, if somebody got that on film, 
I wouldn't mind going out. I just hope I die pretty soon. Alright, it's time to use these knives they give me. They're coming at me from behind. Just in the nick of the Dude, this town is totally anarchy. Another way you can tell is that there's no advertisements. Corporations are like, we don't want to touch this place. No billboards, no ads. They're just like, Nope. Holy moly, wait. Someone's shooting a laser at the Eiffel Tower. Is this New York or New Jersey? So we're in New York. And somebody's shooting a laser at the Eiffel Tower. Or the Eiffel Tower is shooting a laser at the sun. Dude, things just got way deeper than I thought they were. We thought this was about Jessica and the mayor's daughter. Oh no, it gets way deeper. The Eiffel Tower is involved. Eiffel Tower? Oh my god. Small brain. Small brain. Not worth redoing the video. Way out. Oh, okay. I'll take the way out. Um, can you give me the way out of this? I've totally been calling the uh, Statue of Liberty Eiffel Tower. Alright, beat Abigail, and then we can go to the way out. Ooh, Abigail! Why you hit so hard? Why you gotta hurt so hard? Look how happy he is. Yeah. Alright, time to get serious. Come on, come on. Oh! It's glowing red. Get, bro, bro, breathe, breathe! Roid rage to the next extreme. I like your name, though, Abigail. It, it, Am I supposed to say it's cute? Is it handsome? Is it beautiful? You know, where are we going with Abigail? You got huge muscles. You have short hair, face paint. So, what? You know, what am I supposed to call you? I'll just call you Abigail. You must be a hand at parties. I like that name. Not Brad. Brad. Chat. Do you wish that was your name? Doug. Not with an O. D U G. Ooh. Meanwhile, Abigail's throwing me across the screen. Fight fire with fire. You just threw like 300 something pounds of muscle. I didn't even hit the guy to the left. I gotta record that just to check. He just like, I, I swear, he just like got hurt out of nowhere. Okay, we got some ads Capcom and whiskey. Whiskey and Capcom are brave enough to uh, advertise in the city. Confectionary country. All right, I don't know what's going on with that. That's definitely like a a shell organization to funnel some money in or something. Let's see, we got a news napkin. Okay, yeah, that's good to go. But that'll definitely help clot the blood when they stab me. Another some yen. Okay, bread, bread. Come on, I'm trying to pick up my napkins here. That's we get bread. Got another napkin. I need that one to get stabbed. Look at them. They're all sitting here like monks. There he is. Oh, dude. Dude, you're, you, 
There's no way you're walking away from that. You're gonna be Chris Benoit after that. All these boomer references. Everybody else in the chat's like, what? Again, if you missed it in the beginning, look, a tip against bullies, if you're being attacked in a dark alley, like, if Bruce Wayne's parents knew this, they'd still be alive. This is what you do. Any way to fight bullies. Just spin your arms around in circles. Works every time. Try it. You have to be surrounded by people, otherwise it doesn't work. Take. Don't take my word for it. Try it next time you're surrounded by enemies. I mean, I don't know how often you're surrounded by enemies in life, but if it happens often, shoot, you got bigger problems to worry about. Chef to the chat. Thank you for watching this. Whether you're here for the premiere or you're here after the fact, thank you. I hope you're happy, well living life to the fullest of your ability. Much love. Happy holidays. Let's go. Things just got beautiful. Palm trees. Gotta wait for the elevator to close. Now we can go. Oh, dang! I didn't even remember they were coming. I caught me off guard. I would love to voice the sound effects for like a new retro game. Walk into arcade. Yeah, that's me. Hear that? That's me. Yeah. Anytime you hear a death, I did that. Uh, John, could you try that again? We didn't. We didn't get that. Try again? Okay. <clears throat> One more time, John. <clears throat> Perfect. Wow, Andor and Andor Jr. over here. Nice father and son outing. Beautiful. I'd totally like to take a nice dip. Wash some of this blood off. There's no chance with this level. I've never gone farther. I've never beaten this level in the arcades. I always thought this level was just a mass swarm of eat your quarters. Just bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Eat your quarters. Other levels, you can find certain patterns and stuff, but... Maybe I just didn't find the pattern to this level yet. Well, hey, there wasn't much I could do. I was a kid. It wasn't my money. I was given like three or four dollars. And hey, I'll take it, man. Now I have all these epic memories. Hey, don't block my heads. Look at Fonzie over here. Hey! How you doing? Fire takes a lot of life at you, so I'm glad I didn't get hit by it. Oh, 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 oh. Close, close. Forgot there was another swarm. Is that it? Watch out. I got my sword. My Miramasa.
Chat, don't look. There's some boobies. You can't see that. Don't look at the boobies. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Do you want to pay? The play, I mean? The password is 5, 3, 1, 8, 0, 0, 8. Now type that in your calculator and flip it in the mirror and see what it says. Chat, do you know what it says? If you do, type it in the chat or throw it in the comment section. There might be a prize. Who knows? Maybe. Go get your hopes up. Ooh, speaking of prizes, we do have the $60 Amazon code giveaway, though. It's going to be the last one we do for months, because, you know, we're totally doing the upgrade and have to save money and stuff, so. It'll be the pinned comment in the script comment section, so check it out. If you're subscribed, you're eligible. And either way, thank you for being here. It's really awesome. If you like this kind of gaming, if you like this stuff, comment, let me know, and I'll try to do more of it. Again, this is one of my top two favorite games of all time. I grew up on it, and it's one of my two top, I mean, two first gaming memories. This and Golden Axe 2. Golden Axe 2 for the Genesis. Man, when my stepbrother was not home, I would be playing that so often when I was a wee lad. Oh, good times, good times. Hmm. Chandelier. should be careful. You know, they really didn't do a good job with the chandeliers. They should better screw them or, you know, attach them to the ceiling. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I'm glad it didn't affect me. That would have stink if I got hit by the chandelier. Double, you know, damage. Wong Hu! Bastard. Spoiler, I think we're five minutes from the end, actually. So if you happen to write, hope I get to smash that like button. Kick back. Thank you for being here. It's been real. But we gotta save the girl, so don't leave just yet. Your presence gives us strength. We gotta save Jessica. You don't want Jessica to leave. You leave, you're like saying, eh, Jessica, Schmeska. You cannot, you cannot go around doing that. He's totally not friendly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Let me good here. Emeralds, diamonds, topaz, rubies. Hey, lady. And dude. I mix up, though, which one's a dude and which one's a chick. Let's go get me in trouble. No jokes though, one of one of the them's a dude and one's a chick. Oh, don't look! You guys can't see that. Cover your eyes. I'll tell you when it's safe. 
to look. This is a family friendly channel. Whiskey. Yes. Whiskey should give me like a bit of a, a strength boost too. But it doesn't. You know, you know, you guys, you guys are your fire and stuff. We'll take that elsewhere. Always with the jump knives. You know what? I'm ready. This is me right now. Well, I'm mashing. <laughs> You're everywhere, man. Send help. SOS. Mommy. Nani. What is you? What is you? What is you? Nice rug. Oh, oh damn. Dude, I really need that. Okay, you guys can open your eyes. There's, there's no more boobies. The final boss, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica, if I hit you, I really meant me too. I'm gonna feel like a jerk after this. Oh, he's using her as cover. He's a jerk. And why are you in a wheelchair? Are you like this? See, you can walk perfectly lined. The son of a... Oh, ow! True lazy person. Ow. Oh, that's it, guys. We almost, we almost got him, but we died. I ran out of quarters. All these arrows anyway. Up your butt. Yeah. Ah! Well, we did it. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen. Oh father, I was so scared. I'm so glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I'd lost you, like I lost your mother. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again. I love you, Father! <laughs> so you want to go to Sam's uh, hoagie shop after this? Yeah, I'm in the mood for pizza. Wow, I remember this being a way longer walk on the way over here. I guess without the bad guys, you know, it's not so much. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, got any plans? You didn't really stay long to talk to Jessica. We getting pizza or hoagies? Cody, wait! Get over there! Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? I want to stay here with you, Jessica. But I can't. 
Not while evil still stalks the streets. Cody. La Fanny. First place. Hmm. Cool. So thanks, guys, gals, everybody. That was fun. I got a cute little kitten on the couch who's doing flippies looking at me like, Daddy, love me and rub my belly. Rub my belly. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out. Hit like if you haven't. Subscribe. Thank you so much. And if you like this, comment. Let me know you want more of it. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, and I'll catch you later. This is John Kratz, signing out.